Okay, hi, in the next couple of minutes, let's check out how to find whether a given number is a prime number. Quickly round it up with two simple examples so that we know how to handle this scenario. Right. First and foremost, what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers which have exactly two factors. One is one and the second is the number itself. Note one thing, very important fact, prime numbers are subsets of natural numbers. So you will not find prime numbers in the negative space. So prime numbers are a part of positive integers. So whatever we are doing works for positive integers. Let's quickly run through the steps, right? It's a four step process to check whether a given number n is prime. The first step, pick a closest perfect square lesser than that number, right? Step two, find the square root of the perfect square. Step three, list down primes up to the square root. So we've done three steps. The last step is the step in which you'll get the answer. Pick each one of those primes you have listed and check whether it divides n. If any one of those prime numbers divided n, then n is going to have 1 as a factor, n as a factor and this prime also as a factor, which means it's got three factors, it is not prime. If none of the primes divided, then the given number is a prime number, right? Let's quickly run through very simple examples to consolidate it. We'll start with check whether 41 is prime. First step is what? We need to pick a perfect square lesser than the number. A perfect square which is the closest to it lesser than 41 is 36. Step 2, take the square root of 36 which is equal to 6. Step 3, let's list down primes up to 6, 2, 3 and 5. Let's check whether any one of these 2, 3 or 5 will divide 41. 2 will not divide it because 41 is odd. Sum of digits is not divisible by 3. 4 plus 1 equals 5. It's not divisible by 3. That's a test of divisibility for 3. So 41 is not divisible by 3. 5 obviously does not divide 41. So none of the primes up to 6 divide 41. So 41 is a prime number. Let's look at one more example. Check whether 39 is prime. Step is exactly the same. Pick a perfect square closest to this number, lesser than the number, which is again the same 36. So square root of 36 is the same 6. Listing down primes, step 3 is again going to be the same. The primes up to 6 are 2, 3 and 5. 2 will not divide 39 because 39 is odd. Sum of digits of 39, 3 plus 9 equals 12 is divisible by 3, which means 3 divides 39. So we know 1 is a factor of 39, 39 is a factor of 39. We have found one more factor which is 3, which means 39 is not prime. Quickly summarize the four steps. Pick a perfect square closest to the number, lesser than the number, right? That's step number 1. Step 2, find the square root of this. Step 3, list down primes up to the square root. Step 4, check whether any of those primes will divide the number. If none of the primes divide the number, the given number is a prime number, right? we just done this bit. If you want more information, more questions, more concepts about number properties, which is a very important topic when it comes to GMAT quant, click on this link. You have enough videos to get you started and get you to the Q50 level. If you're looking for a comprehensive quant course for the GMAT, sign up at wzko.in slash core.